Hi friends, we have already discussed about string variables and int bars. Now we'll discuss about boolean variables where we will be storing true and false data. So or 0 or 1. We use mostly what are the advantage of using these boolean variables and what he, why we should use this. We'll learn all about this. Let's first declare a boolean variable. So we'll say c underscore v because we'll be using it with along with a check button. So we are giving this name. You can give any other name. Tk dot boolean var. So here three uh, optional parameters we can give. All are optional only. First is our master means which window it belongs. It belongs to the parent window or so our some other window. So I can specify here my underscore w. But by default it takes the parent window. So there is no point in giving because we are using one only. Then one value we can give. We can make it true or false also. So initial value this is. And we can give another name. Name of a TCL variable pi var 1. But we will not be using much of this. So pybar1. Okay, so these are all the optional values uh, we can add to give to our while declaring it. Let's remove uh, up to this and this is also not required. Fine. So now we are as it is we have declared it. Now in let's just see how this window works. Okay, this is a blank template only. Let's just see. We'll run it once. Yeah, here it is. We'll create a check button. Because check button has true or false or it, ca it can one of the variable it takes. So that is why it is better to use that as an example. So we'll giving c1 equal to tk dot check button. Now where my window is my parent window is my underscore w line number 2 we have declared it. And so that's what you are using some text will write text equal to will say um, because usually in a, I'll say I agree. Because check button usually in a form we use that purpose. So I am you can use any other text also. Now I am saying variable. I am here connecting the variable and C underscore V. C underscore V is a Boolean variable. What we are declared at line number four. Now this check button is connected to this variable. Now let's just uh, give two more. We'll go to the next line. Here I will write it on value because we always check button will have a on value and off value. I am giving on value as one of value equal to 0. So one of the two when the check button is checked then the on value 1 will be given to this variable otherwise 0. Now let's give a higher font font equal to 20. So let me just place it on the grid now c1 dot grid equal to row 0 because it's the first one first element at the row 0 column also let's give 0. So this is the only element there pad x from the left edge i am giving 15 so it's not flush with the left edge and pad y also equal to 15 so it is not flush with the top so these two are there now let's just run this and see how this looks here it is i can say i agree but you can see the by default this value is not set can you set it? Yes. So what you will do instead of setting it here, what you will do C underscore V dot set. We are now assigning a value to the our uh, Boolean variable. So I am saying it true. Now once I made it true, what happens here is you just see by default when I open this, it is agree. Now when so agree, so it is uh, on value or checked, it is remain checked. If I want to change it, I can make it false also. So it will not be not be checked so you can see this yeah it is but i can subsequently change this we'll try to display our check button value on, in a label so so we can whenever we change it dynamically the value should change so for that we'll keep a label l1 is equal to, sorry equal to tk dot label it's a label and i'm placing it my parent window my underscore w text some initial some text we are giving uh, let's write output only. So then we'll say font slightly bigger font we are giving and BG or the background of this one we are keeping yellow. So background color BG. Now let's place it on the grid. So L1 dot grid. Now this is below that one. So I'll give row one because row zero is our check button. So I'm giving row one. Now column equal to zero and let's give pad x again 15 will not flushing with the left edge 
and pad uh, no not required pad y i'll just give sticky it should stick to your uh, center now let's uh, put it e w okay so just let's see how this looks here it is but this output is not linked so it will not change now how now we'll write it so whenever we change this or we change this check button the value should real time it should display here now let's move uh, it will move it up and we'll understand about trace method so that is the most important that is the reason why we are using this uh, boolean variables or string variable or integer variable whatever because that is the main advantage c underscore v it is the variable what you have given the name equal to now we are saying sorry not equal to this method is trace trace method takes three parameters here w a or u means a means whenever this variable is read read then only this this will uh, trigger a callback function or it can take a w w means it whenever the value is changed or updated then it will and this w is frequently used i can also use u u means whenever it is undefined or assigned to null value then it is triggered so these three parameters will use in different different uh, situations now it will once this happened what it will do it will you can use a callback function my update now this callback function we have not defined yet so every time this now what you are telling is whenever this boolean variable value changes call this function so we got it so you can capture the real time event whenever someone checks or unchecks the check button let's just uh, define our function here define i am just uh, writing my function here let's receive all the arguments so sorry so all the parameters we are received inside this we'll write our first let's read what the status of the particular check button so what you are selling is c underscore v dot get now here the get method will read the data what is the value associated with this boolean variable because this boolean variable is connected to this check button here variable is sorry variable is this so it will capture tell me what it is a on value or off value here you can see on value and off value so that value it will pass or down so the get method is used to read the data associated with the uh, boolean variable now this data we got it now what our purpose is to display this data on a uh, inside the label so the label is there so there we want to display so let's just do it l1 dot config config method is by using config method any parameter we can update it or change it so l1 config means we are any op options whatever options are available we can change that one let's change the text option because text is wh while creating it we have written here you can see the text option as output in that place what we will do is we will use the this data so my data will do but before displaying let's change it to sorry not date data okay now before changing let's convert it to string because now we are displaying a string now so this particular one here we are reading the data i'll just write it reading value of boolean var okay now next is same data we could have written in one line also but for our easy understanding we are written in two so here my function will read the data and using config update and this particular function will be every time triggered whenever this particular boolean variable c underscore v is changes its value so that is the purpose why this is used so let's just run it and see how this works yes i agree now output it is showing click true on click false again click true you can ask me a question why on while opening say when i open it let me open it again while opening why it is not showing me the true or false value because we had set it to on chain suppose i want while opening also this function should execute once then what i will do i will just write here my update this function i am calling while opening so what happens it take the fresh data what is the status of this boolean variable and accordingly that value it depend it list so you see it is false now moment i check it it's true again false so this condition i can use it in further in suppose i am using a form to submit or anything i can just read that value and develop my script 
that's all so next we'll move it to double variable we have already discussed about string variable integer variable all links are in the description and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching